Hey everybody, Ooh, chapter three, what a doozy. So hopefully by now you've already watched the lecture talking about how to calculate the adjusted gross income and any deductions to ultimately get to your income that is gonna be taxed, that taxable income. And then you have to take that amount and use this bracket, this tax bracket, part in order to calculate how much you actually owe in taxes. Most people are surprised by this chapter. It's a little different than what people think happens within tax brackets. So in this short video, I'm just going to walk through this calculation again because it's so challenging and this one will really focus on what you will see in your homework and you can do this for your own taxes as well. So remember, you are not just going to find which um, which range you fall in and calculate times the tax rate. If you make $70,000 as a single taxpayer, then yeah, you do fall in this one, but the whole amount does not get taxed at 22%. There's going to be every bracket below that a portion falls in as well. So this right here is just taken from a link inside of homework. You might have different numbers here, even on these charts, they show different numbers because taxes change from year to year. So you need to know how to calculate it regardless of what numbers they give you. But this is just an example of what you may see. So what I did to make it easier for calculating is I have put this information for the single taxpayer, the ranges, and the rate on taxable income into Excel. If you get one that's married filing jointly or head of household, it's the same rules that apply. It's just different ranges, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through the single taxpayer. This is the same information. I just plugged it into <clears throat> Excel. So let's say you get a question that says that a single taxpayer had taxable income of $35,800. In this case, we're gonna say, okay, well, it falls in this range. Let me just multiply it by 12%. No, you still have to take a portion of it times 10%. That's great. That means a portion of our income is taxed at a lower percent. So remember, if this were the numbers that were used in real life, every taxpayer that makes 9,875 or higher, that first $9,875 is taxed at 10%. I don't care if you make $10,000 or you make $10 million, that first 9,875 is taxed at 10%. So let's go ahead and put in there $9,875 because <clears throat> that's how much we're gonna tax the first, um, the 10% at. And then I'm gonna do a simple formula here. I'm gonna take the 10% times the 9,875, which of course would be $987.50. So for this $35,800, I have already calculated the taxes on the first 9,875. I don't have to calculate the taxes on that portion again. Now I'm gonna go to the next column. Is this one the highest that I'm gonna go to? Yes, because look, I the, the top of this one is 40125 I make less than that. So I'm going to take my 35800 That's the total amount of taxable income minus this $9,875 because I've already calculated taxes on that. And if you want to use this Excel spreadsheet, one that looks like this, at this point, you should have the total of your taxable income. So see, it matches. Now I'm gonna take this portion and I'm gonna multiply that by the 12%. Then these two together equal the total tax liability for this 35,800 for a single individual. Let's say that they made $78,000. Okay, well in this case, we need to change this up a bit. We did have more than 40,125. So I would take 40,125 minus the 9,875 that I already calculated my taxes on. And at this point, I am accounting for $40,125 worth 
of my taxable income, but that's not all that I made. So I come into here and yes, in this range, it captures my 78,000. So I'm gonna take my 78,000. Why not take 85,000? Because I didn't make that much. I don't wanna pay extra in taxes. So I'm gonna take that 78,000. I need to put a little equals here and subtract out 40,125 because I've already calculated taxes on all of that. Now, when I add all of these up, I do get 78,000. So I am accounting for all of my income. And then I'm gonna take this 37,875 that fell within this range and multiply that by 22%, that's a big jump. Now it'll be $8,332.50 when I add up all of the products from the three different categories, the three different tax brackets, I get a total that I need to pay in taxes of $12,950. You know, you could do that all the way down. If I fall in this bracket and make 200,000, then I would have to come down here. I'd have to calculate each of these and then end in this one. It just depends on where you end. I think most of your homework's gonna end within two to three tax brackets. You don't have to do as much for calculations. But I um, am happy to answer any questions you have. Again, this one was for single taxpayer, but it's the same thing if it's a different column that they fall under, head of household, married, filing jointly. You do the same concept. The numbers are just going to be different. So hopefully this helps you out. Please let me know what questions you have.